this above all, to thine own self be true. I love that because I think there is a way to live your life, you know, to your own self be true. And I think that applies, I've tried to apply that um, personally and professionally and in my writing where I, I kind of think, oh, so-and-so is a brilliant writer, but I'm not going to try and write like them, I'm going to write like myself. And just kind of, you know, just being myself, wherever I am, and not trying to be anybody else. So I think it's a bubble to thine own self be true. My new book, Chasing the Stars, is based on Shakespeare's Othello. And basically my version is uh, about a girl called Olivia, who's, or V for short. She's on a starship with her brother Aidan because everybody else has died. And she's desperate to get back to Earth. And on her way back, they come across some refugees. And one of the refugees is a boy called Nathan they're instantly attracted to each other and over time they fall in love but um, Aidan, V's brother, um, sets about trying to poison her mind against Nathan and it's will he succeed or not. And if you know the story of Othello you know you know what's gonna happen. It's kind of a murder mystery and a bit of an adventure and a bit of a love story and it's all kind of inspired by Shakespeare's Othello. I must admit um, it took me a while to get into Shakespeare the very first thing I remember us doing when I was um, 11 was we did the A Midsummer Night's Dream and I hated it, <laughs> absolutely hated it and I thought it was, it was like another language and I didn't like the story and then I thought oh gosh Shakespeare sucks um, but then we did Julius Caesar and I thought actually this is really good and then we did Macbeth and I thought actually this is great and after that I was hooked I think he was such a genius at human nature because he wrote plays about love and loss and ambition and jealousy and all those human emotions that we all have in common and that's why we're still reading him. I think if you're intimidated by Shakespeare you feel intimidated by Shakespeare's plays Try watching some films that are based on the Shakespeare plays because Shakespeare wrote plays. You're supposed to see actors perform them. That's a very different experience to actually reading them. I love Shakespeare retellings and one of my favourites is 10 Things I Hate About You because 10 Things I Hate About You is based on The Taming of the Shrew and it's an amazing story, it's so well done. And West Side Story, I remember when I watched the first time I saw West Side Story which is based on Romeo and Juliet. And, oh, I saw the bucket at the end, oh my god. And even Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet. Gosh, that's such an amazing retelling. It's kind of um, using Shakespeare's language, but in a modern setting, and it absolutely works. Stories are just still so relevant, that whole thing of ambition, of what drives you, and would you do anything? What, where would you stop to get what you want? And all those kind of questions are in Shakespeare's plays.